Today we're going to be flipping houses, guys. We're going to be flipping houses remotely, more specifically. So we're going to take this little house and we're going to turn it into $23,000. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this show is for my girl, Lisa. Lisa, you want to flip houses in the Cleveland market. You've been watching the show for a long time. Thank you so much for that. You understand what I like about you so much, Lisa, is you understand this is a numbers game, right? We're going to be targeting a bunch of houses like that. Uh, this one right here, right? My specific strategy for you is to take houses in areas where we're just priced above the rental markets, right? You take like our C-class areas, guys, and tenants being in these houses is usually increasing the value of these houses because uh, real estate investors are, are, are like, you know, the, the driver of, of who's buying these houses, right? And we prefer real estate investors. We prefer to have a rental income source uh, versus a house we have to renovate and then, you know, find that rental income source, okay? And then you get into neighborhoods where owner-occupants drive, the pricing, right? Well, this particular neighborhood, this is what I'm targeting. I'm targeting rentals in a neighborhood where rentals are not ideal. What uh, drives the values? Owner occupants, right? And what does an owner occupant want, right? They want to live in the house. So what do they need? They need the house to be empty, right? So rental properties in the city of Parma are a problem. You immediately lose value when you put your house on the market in Parma if you have a tenant in there. The tenant is killing your value because the real estate investors, they're not going to pay $105,000 for $1,000 a month in rent. That's what this house is renting for. It's renting for $1,000. Why in the hell would a real estate investor pay $105,000 for $1,000 in rent when just down the street, Go into old Brooklyn, you get the same rent for like 75 k You don't make no damn sense, right? And if I'm an owner-occupant trying to live here with my wife and my kids, well, what the fuck? I'm not going to be interested in this house. There's a motherfucking person in there, right? So it don't make no goddamn sense. So that's why we're targeting these, Lisa. We are targeting these deals for you because they're just, they're, they're, they're marketed to nobody, right? There's two types of buyers, investors, owner, occupants, and it doesn't work for either. And that's where you're going to squeeze in, and we're going to pick these up for you, acquire them. We have the ability to handle the property management while we work the tenant out. Then when the tenant's out, we'll renovate it. We'll flip it for a quick profit. This one, just like the last one I showed you, they're basically the same deal. Should make you about 23 k pretty much exactly the same as the other one. What we got here, what the, what the agent said, tenant occupied, needs TLC, very cluttered, but priced to sell, aluminum sided house and garage, hardwood floors throughout, breaker boxes, shower stall and basement, fully fenced rear yard, extra wide concrete by garage. That means it's a nice little parking pad, right? That's The buyers are going to dig that. Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. And then as far as pictures go, we just got these two pictures, right? So we're assuming the bones of this one are going to be solid just like the other one. They haven't technically clarified that for us, but that's why we do our due diligence, right? We're going to verify that with a general home inspection. So as far as the renovation budget right now, what I know we need to do is spend 20500 on the low end for a cosmetic reno, right? I've done hundreds of rentals like this. That's what's nice about Parma. Lisa, it's going to be super low risk because uh, a lot of these houses, they're like the same. They're, they're very similarly built. They're all pretty small. Uh, you know, we, we, we bang these renovations out. We've sold a bunch of houses like this in Parma. Like, this is uh, nothing fancy that we're going to be doing here, right? This is something my team has already done and systemized, right? So I could pretty well narrow down your prices, right? It's, it's the main stuff, right? We got to provide the buyers with a new modern house that's going to have 
Agreeable gray walls, white trim, refinished hardwoods, and modern kitchen and bath, right? The kitchen and bath are going to have vinyl or flooring that matches, right? Nice modern neutral fixtures, and we're going to go ahead and throw in a relatively low-end stainless steel appliance package, right? We'll be able to do all that for $20,500. Now, during the inspection, if it comes up that we're going to need a new roof, I'm not saying we need a brand new roof on this house, but if the roof is towards the end of its life cycle, we may need to factor that in. A roof on this house would be like 5 Gs. If there's furnace issues, that's 3 Gs. If there's hot water tank issues, that's a G, right? But we will adjust for that accordingly, right? After the inspection comes out, we're going to be able to renegotiate. But as of right now, just assuming it's going to cost us about 20 and a half, I want to do the same offer we did on the previous property, right? Want to offer 90? Want you to spend the 20 and a half as far as commissions and closing costs, those are in there and we're going to sell it for the same price 145 k because it's like the same it's like the same thing six to one half dozen the other right parma is a very simple easy suburb for us to operate in not a lot of variances here right just like the other one i'm projecting a 22.9 k profit for you and that's after you pay my team to do all the renovations after you pay my team to market and sell the property we're going to do it all for you we're going to manage the property for you till we get that existing tenant out of the property right you might even make a couple bucks because you're going to be renting for a thousand dollars a month until we can remove that tenant right tenants on a month-to-month -month lease so by law we got to go in give them their 30-day notice, things of that nature, right? And if the tenant's having trouble finding a new home, as long as they're still paying rent, you know, we want to be as nice as we can to work with them, right? Because right now, as I film this for you, it's January, right? So we got a whole bunch of warm summer months ahead of us. So really no need to be in a major rush, right? But you're in a unique position working with Holton Wise where this type of deal makes sense for you, right? Because it don't make sense for owner-occupants. It doesn't make sense for landlords. But you being a house flipper who's also got a full-service property manager working on your behalf, it's perfect. Go in, collect a little bit of rent, get the home vacant, boom, do the rental, make yourself 23 k move on to the next deal. And as a matter of fact, I got the next deal ready and waiting for you. Let's get into that right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.